Chris, thank you. More local news. A new project expanding access to fresh food in Saginaw. It's part of a nearly $100,000 grant through the American Rescue Plan. Raven Blue breaks down the community's unique approach to bringing groceries to people who need them. STARS AND THE SAGINAW CITY COUNCIL IS HOPING TO TURN SAGINAW FROM A FOOD DESERT INTO A FOOD OASIS. WHEN YOU'VE GOT TO BLOCK OUT THREE, FOUR HOURS FOR A GROCERY TRIP, THAT'S, that's uh, YOU KNOW, A NON-STARTER FOR A LOT OF PEOPLE. Especially when you can't carry a whole lot and have to go back multiple times through the week. Saginaw Transit Authority Regional Services, or STARS, is getting $100,000 in American Rescue Plan funding for bus shelters to be placed at the Eastside Soup Kitchen, Senior High Rises, and Income Based Housing Development. This is part of an effort to assist STARS with a grant opportunity to try to bring what they are calling grocery buses to the community. The concept is to fund. Uh, vehicles that can pick up um, from senior high rises and, and similar facilities and take groups to the grocery store and then or they can get a, an, you know, an entire cart full of groceries is the, the plan and take those back home. STARS Executive Director Glenn Steffens says safety reasons limit the number of bags a rider can bring onto a bus, noting that some have to carry their groceries several blocks from the nearest bus stop. He believes the money for the bus shelters puts the agency in a better position to receive the grant. When you apply for these type of grant programs, they like to see a local community community investment and so that is a, a significant investment. The grocery bus pilot program is also a part of an initiative to expand access to food in Saginaw. City leaders last week approved $900,000 in ARPA funding to help expand the Eastside Soup Kitchen and Hunger Solution Center. Steffens says dedicated grocery buses could really make a difference in the community. If you're riding around on the regular fixed route buses, you could be looking at um, an hour and a half commute or more. Uh, you know, to and from to get your groceries. That's a lot of time. Um, and that might also affect what you're buying at the store. If you have perishables or something, you know, if you're buying a gallon of milk and you're not going to get home for an hour, it doesn't settle too well. STARS hopes to accommodate 10 to 15 people with each bus. In Saginaw, Raven Blue, WNEM TV5.